Hi, I'm Aiden from Reincubate. I built iPhone Backup Extractor back in 2008 when I lost my own data and needed to get it back. iPhone Backup Extractor can do just about anything you'd need to do with an iTunes backup. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to extract, view, recover and modify iTunes backup data. If you'd like to follow along with our written guide, you'll see it's linked below. Let's get started. You can download the free edition of iPhone Backup Extractor from iPhoneBackupExtractor.com or by following the link below. On Windows, you double-click the downloaded file to install it, and on MacOS, you drag it to your Applications folder before running it. Once iPhone Backup Extractor is running, you'll see your backup shown on the left-hand side of the app. If you don't already have a backup, it's possible to create a new backup and still recover your old data from it in certain cases. Here's how you create one. First, load iTunes on your PC or Mac and connect your phone with a USB cable. Once you click on the icon for your device, ensure This Computer and Encrypted iPhone Backup are selected and choose Backup Now. Make sure you remember the password you chose for the encrypted backup, though if you forget it, our support team can help you recover it. That'll take a minute or two to create or update your backup. OK, now we're sure you've got a backup, let's get to it. If your backup is encrypted, you'll be prompted for its password before you view it. Once you've entered your password, you'll see the overview screen and a summary of your backup's contents. You'll see the overview shows you icons for built-in iOS apps, along with a few other popular apps. Clicking on any of these will automatically extract the data that they store in your backup. Some of these data types include recovery of deleted content. Messages is a great example of that. Even better, if you'd like to get a quick overview of each app's data, you can click the Preview tab. This will show you a list of the most important apps, and as you click on each, you can see the data that they contain. For example, clicking on Messages will show you your messages, including recovered deleted messages in red, whereas clicking Photos will show all of your photos and videos. If you'd like to drill into different apps and the data they store, you'll see there's an App View tab. If you click that, you'll see a list of all of the apps in your backup, and by selecting them, you'll be able to extract their contents iPhone Backup Extractor lets you extract all of each app's files, or just their images, databases, or plists. These latter two categories are useful for developers and people looking to patch their app settings. If you'd like to get advanced, you'll see there's an Expert Mode tab. If you select that, you'll be able to see every file and folder contained in your backup. In Expert Mode, you can drag out any of the files and folders you'd like to examine. It's a great way to closely examine everything that's in your backup. There's more than Expert Mode does though. You'll see you can right click on files to replace, delete or view them. There's even a built-in viewer for plist files, which you'll see are common in backups. If you modify your backup with iPhone Backup Extractor, you'll be able to restore the modified backup to your device. This is a great way of patching save files and so on. I'd advise you create a copy of your backup before you do this. If you've extracted files from your apps and would like to parse them, you'll find we've got a bunch of tools in the Applications File menu. And if you select it, you'll have access to all sorts of conversion tools for the various databases you can extract from a backup. The free version of iPhone Backup Extractor is able to recover four items of data, or files, at a time. And that might be just right for what you need. If necessary though, you can pull out any number in the free edition, so long as you do it four at a time. We built iPhone Backup Extractor back in 2008 when it was the first tool to work with iPhone data and we've been building it and helping users ever since then. We tend to ship updates once a week and if there's a change or new feature you'd like to see, please let us know. If you run into any problems recovering your messages or other data, please reach out to us either with a live chat on our site or through support at reincubate.com. We're fanatical about helping people recover their Apple data and we'd love to help you as well. Thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button if you like this video.